going down, everybody? Welcome to the All Seas Collector's Edition podcast. My name is James. I'm your host, followed by my beautiful wife and co-host, Trish. Hey, everybody. AJ, our DM. Cheers. Chris the Beard Packham around here somewhere. Walking on in now. On the slow stumbling approach. In rumbling, stumbling, fumbling. And our special guest, Mr. Eddie Rhodes. Thank you, my yeah, friend. Thank you. Hey, thank you for being back with us, my friend. Represent E3 Art. Check out that E3 Art. Shout out your page real quick, bro. Uh, it's E3 Art. Uh, it's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and also YouTube. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Amazing artists. I've been friends with Eddie for a long time, man. I'm happy to be doing the great work we are together. Look for our Series 2 Collector's Art Card set coming out soon. Can't soon wait. As, as soon as I get descriptions done for him, and I'm kind of dragging ass on that one right now, so... We'll get that done soon. Within the next couple months, hopefully, we can work on a release date for that. Before the holidays. Before the holidays. Ken says, yo, 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 from down there at the con in Texas. Hey, That's right. Ken. Ken. Ken Sullivan out with us this week. KS Production down in Bell County, Texas. Comic Con. Down in Bell County. They're singing comics That's better than anybody a, else. That, that, is, that is a whopping community down there. Oh, I bet it is. All right. A lot of you guys tuning in today. It did take us an extra few minutes to get set up. The beard was running a little behind, but also we have some big, big giveaways. At the end of the show, we are going to give away the Beyond the Long Box giveaway for the Miles Morales book. We're going to randomize it here live. So stay tuned for that. But right now, the giveaway you guys can all get by liking, sharing this podcast everywhere it's posted here, YouTube, on Streamlabs, on iHeartRadio, everywhere we've got about 13 chances is this Jason Font Power Ranger package. An autographed Jason Font photo that he was so nice to sign for us and Chris Guzzi when he was up here, as well as this signed action figure for Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Beautiful pieces. One winner, going to get all of these. And then and it just keeps going. Colorado Springs so Comic Con exclusive. Go. Colorado Springs Comic Con coming up in two weeks. That's the 2016 Colorado Springs Comic Con exclusive comic book. Thank you guys, Alter Reality come Studios. Say hello. Yeah, come by. All these will be there. Colorado Springs Comic Con in two weeks. Check it out. One of the best, my favorite Comic Con in Colorado. Outside the that, all these. Well, the only one. It's the only one I go to. Yeah. That's thing, right? All right, we got some awesome sponsors on this podcast, and they are Game to Gamer doing our video game tournaments, Elite Sportsbook and Casino, represented by the Red Deli Casino and Blackhawk, Game Exchange, Angelo CDs, Records and Tapes, Nicola Play. Thank you guys for always being our sponsors. Very much appreciated. And again, we had another contest. And I'll let Eddie get into that in the interview. You want to announce it during the interview? Sure. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And we had that art card contest for that Series 2 All CC3 art card 52. 50, not 52, 50 top collectibles of all time. We had that contest. We have a winner. Switch it to 52. <laughs> yeah, 52. 80. 52. <laughs> but uh, we, we got a winner now, and we'll announce that later on when we get to Eddie's. Uh, Absolutely. Peter great, Parker great. saying, Game to Gamer. I would like to say, Peter Parker, hit me up. We need to schedule that classic games tournament for this month. Yeah, that's right. Let's go with that. All right. Let's get this moving. We're moving into the markets. We got gold, 1,763 bucks. Silver, $24.37. And Both the Dow, are down. The Dow is up 300 yeah. points. 34,000 or 35,000. Dow up, gold and silver down. People go buy your gold and silver. This is crazy. They are going down right now. Yeah, I don't get it. I would definitely buy it. You know, Dominic, uh, nice to see you, Dominic. What up, everybody what watching up? with us live, as always, live on the All Dom, season. you know what contest you are waiting. Not, not, Miles Morales at the end of the show. We're going to do randomize. Dot org. Please join Beyond the Long Box. Our 991 Facebook. names. We took out all all season employees and their pages. So at the end of the day, it was we got 2,000 members, but none of the all season employees are going to win this. So there's 991 names getting randomized today. We're giving stuff away all episode this long. Is, this is the giveaway episode. Is what Rewind this is. It and see how you can win that Jason Font uh, giveaway pack for the month if you didn't miss that. What we didn't miss, and we almost did because Chris was dragging ass getting here from All <laughs> Season South today, is I picks, made a good time. my favorite part of the show. Picks from the Beard. Those up, comic everybody? hot picks of the week. Only Chris can bring them to you from all seas collectibles. What up, everybody? What up, Doug? I got some fun stuff today. Where we, uh, where's our, mm. over there? Boom, I got you. I'll get holding up. Boy. All right. You're not you used got... to the new setup still? No, I'm not. No, no, I'm no. sorry. That's yeah, right. There. Oh, Chris, we still got issues <laughs> with this. I might need one for myself. Yes, this is Spirits of Vengeance Spirit Rider, the first appearance of the Native American Ghost Rider. Yep, I'm going to need one, Chris. You know that? Yep, it should be a fun mini series because I love everything Ghost Rider. That cover is sweet. Now, this, this one is, is definitely good. a book I picked up this week, too. Oh, uh, yeah, Silk number five. Silk. If you all aren't reading it. Yeah, Silk is a great read. I like it a lot. 
Um, Why do you like her, Chris? Because I just like her character. She's kind of funny, and they go hand it. When she's around Peter, they're comic genius around those two each other. Nice. Very good. Yeah. Welcome to the Spider Verse, right? Welcome you know to the Spider Verse. Finally coming back is Seven to Eternity. Finally coming Internet. back. A great fantasy book by Rick Remender. I really enjoyed the first couple storylines. I'm looking forward to reading this one. All right, all right. Art Trial, thank you, man. Thank you very much for uh, the new store. Congratulations. Thank you guys all for following us, being with us live on this podcast. Thank you, Eddie Rhodes, our guest this week. Let's get this rolling. What are those picks from the beard? Dominic says that the the beard is the Ghost Rider. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> I wish. He wishes he was cool as Johnny Blaze. <laughs> this is a new image miniseries, Scotty Young, the, the Me You Love in the Dark. Been a pretty popular book this week. Always love image number ones because you never know when they're going to go do. insane. You never do know. You would definitely be a benefactor if you just bought every yep. image number one. Every number one, yep. Just buy every one. You never know when you're going to hit jackpot. Yep, and you know what right. Kurt's question is? Where's Alien? Where's Alien? No, Alien came out this week. Well, you got to mix up them picks. Get them the same picks. Right. And I think this is the coolest cover that came out this week, Batman 111. Love this cover. Beautiful. I just love that cover. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Chris Packham, Zavon is the peacemaker. He wishes he was John Cena. <laughs> Great Suicide Squad was a good movie. <laughs> we'll talk about that in entertainment. I watched it last Except night. Except don't ask much. Ryan Haggerty about it. Yeah, well. well, Ryan's opinion. We almost got him on the podcast just to talk about it. Yeah, that. no doubt. No He's doubt. DC guy too, right? Yeah, he didn't like it. I thought it was good, man. It was a good comic movie. And we'll it talk was. about it here. Come on up. Next, Wait. we got gaming releases. <sighs> gaming releases. Man, everybody bumping you. Hot. Okay, so uh, another double pre-release weekend. I had Yu-Gi-Oh! Preview is what we call them for Yu-Gi-Oh!s yesterday for the new Dawn of Majesty set. Hot all day. We have a little bit left, which means going into next week, we will have some Dawn of Majesty. It's going to move very quickly, everybody. And then we also had the DBS pre-release. Super hot. Nothing that we have there. We're going to have more product coming in the next week. It'll be available on Friday. And that also means next week's going to be the pre-release for Pokemon. Woo, you all been finally. waiting on this new Eevee Long Lucian set. Long-awaited Pokemon release. Insane. We need some Pokemon. It's boosters. gonna be hot up in here, everybody. Y'all got that Pokemon. Got that. We got that Pokemon. Pokemon. It's coming. I need it. I need it. <laughs> so it, it's been hot around here, but we also had some hot sports releases this we week. We did. We did. One of my favorite football sets of the year was Gold Standard. Man, it's it's expensive, five hundred bucks a pack, but Gold Standard football is banging. It, it's what you can pull a Trevor Lawrence auto patch. Worth, you know, they still give upwards the of $5,000. They still give the gold card? They do. Real 22-karat gold uh, piece in there. Panini rocking it. Panini cards have been hot for a good yeah, two years Lawrence. now. Since COVID started, sports cards are on the rise. It is not stopping. Just be smart about what you buy with sports <clears> cards. Gold standard is going to be a high investment, high risk, high reward when you buy a lot of these hobby boxes. Hobby sports card boxes are very hot, but, again, very expensive. So, you know, come in, ask one of your representatives at all sees. If you want any advice on buying sports cards. Also, when you join Beyond the Long Box, you get 10% off sealed sports cards and gaming product. Let us know here in Beyond the Long Box. All right. This is your time to shine, babe. Did you get ready? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Well, no, this is Trish's show and tell time. But you know what it's going to be is James's show and tell because you I'm pushing I'm something. pushing Muppets. And I messed up my Muppet display because I got two animals. But animals are badass. So. Do you want oh, me to go yeah. grab the other one? We got Dr. Teeth. I'm missing Dr. Teeth. I got I'm moving the camera a little just to really I highlight to that. Because James wanted to show these off. And the thing that I actually had out for show and tell got sold. So. Well, and the real reason we want to show these off is Chris ordered 15 cases of the Muppets. 15. That was hot. Oh, that's hotness. a lot of Muppets. So that's 30 Janices. That's 30 dope. animals. They are dope. With two locations, All Seas can sell a lot of action figures. We're bringing you a lot of new toy lines. All Seas South, the University of Arapahoe Road. Check it out. I, I got to, a ton of toys in I that have bad to say boy. That Muppet drum set's kind of small, man. I like it. I like the artwork on it. Well, it's a cool drum set, but well, his drum played, set's like huge. Oh. No, Animal originated with just a Ringo set. He had that just little, little Ringo set. Right. Yeah, yeah, that Ringo right. Beetle set. I'll say the Palisades more. one that came out. Dr. T, that. don't Dr. T, don't want his muse, muse clouded with a bunch of drum beats, hey. dog. Peter no Parker, I think you need 15 cases of this Muppets. Yeah, I, I like it. I like yes, Dr. Sir. D. I like will not be going in our home. I Floyd and Janice. You don't like Floyd and Janice? What about Zoot? What was that? Oh, Dr. hold on. Keith and the Electric Mayhem, bro. Right? Let me ask you a question. Was there not a behind this the story that you would Blue like Blue? to share with us? It was us? on Family Guy. They did a behind the music about the Mayhem band. <laughs> Janice, unfortunately, uh, was succumbed to her heroin addiction. <laughs> They had syphilis at the time she passed away too so she she went down the wrong road <laughs> check that out you know <laughs> seth mcfarland does a great tale of it don't go you know music's a tired tired one but 
to commemorate commemorate the Muppet Mayhem Band, commemorate, band, <laughs> commemorate the Muppet Mayhem <laughs> Band by the Diamond Select figures. We got thirty or fifteen cases, thirty figures of them. So come by, please. If you buy them in bulk, we can get. I'll give a you deal. a good deal. <laughs> These will definitely be at Colorado Springs Comic Con. Check that out in two weeks in Colorado Springs of the arena down in Colorado Springs. New low location, right? Yeah. Yes. Pretty right. dope. And Where is that, AJ? There. You have any idea? So it is by the Broadmoor area. Okay. It's like little north, little, uh, what it's is like that? South, yeah. South, yeah. South, South, South area. area. Yeah. South Springs. All right. I yep. like it over there. You'll be able to see Google the area down there. Cheyenne Mountain. Mm -hmm. Down by Tinseltown yeah. almost. How long is the event? Is it one, two days? Oh, it's three. Three days. It's three. It's four for me. So I got to go there Thursday. I gotta be done we'll be there Sunday, Thursday, but I gotta Friday. put everything away on Monday. You know what I mean? It sucks. But I love going to cons, especially Colorado Spring Comic Con. I love it. We won't it. be working it though. We'll be at the stores. So we'll just be there for. No, Sunday. I'll be there. We'll be there a lot for the hard stuff. That's the fun part. <laughs> the setup and the teardown. That's that's the parts you don't <laughs> want to be there for. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly right. What I do love is buying stuff. I love buying oh collectibles in the shop. Week. This was a brand new product that came out. I love historic autographs. Make a great baseball card product usually and memorabilia product. This is commemorative. God, I can't say that word today. Thank you. Commemorative. 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 Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, 1909 T206 tobacco baseball Those cards. Those are sweet. These are original T206s buybacks with two original cut autos. Again, if you can read those gentlemen's names on there, wow. AJ. Yep, that is Fred Mitchell and Fred Harry Mitch. Petit. Harry Petit and Fred Mitchell. Played in 1909. That's more than 100 years ago. These baseball cards are from today back exactly 111 years old. Buybacks? Yeah. yeah. So they repackage them, put them in this nice mount. Something older than me. They package that. We finally have really something great. older I love than me. That card. So it's a triple book. Folds out as a book. Those are cool. Really nice job. You can tell it's a handmade yes. card. I this was it. a hot week for buys. It's cool. Oh. Um, I, love, I love historic autographs. I do too. They, they make really a great product. product. Say that's a historic autograph. I bought a box of that. Here. Yeah, they made the 1945 yeah. set. They made uh, 1969 the president, president. Yep, all that. Civil War. I opened a Civil War set. That's on our YouTube channel. That was really cool. That was a fun one. We're live uh, letters home from soldiers yep. from Civil War. Yeah. Good job, Historic Autographs continued. Uh, this card kind of pains me because I'm not the biggest fan. Philip Rivers <laughs> retired. But might be coming back. You never know. Yeah, 2000. He says he's ready. This is rookie card from 2004, also a relic. Play, I'm just kidding. Playoff honors rookie card number to 300. That's a sweet card. Philip Phil Rivers. Rivers. He's ready for phone calls. He's, he's a shoe. In, he's a shoe in Hall of Famer, my friend. Shoe in. Shoe in. I for a second there that you said a shit Hall of no, Famer. No, he's a shoe in when he What's gets a shoe in. Shoe in mean? It means you're in. You're in. You're a shoe in. Let's say no you're, question. You're shoe in. Oh, okay. Guaranteed. I think that's an old cowboy right. saying. I don't know. That's, that's the first time I've ever heard it. Guaranteed. Really? Yeah, it's first. I've oh, learned something. That's real. Oh, that's real Colorado talk. Right there. You're always teaching me cowboy talk, which is Colorado <laughs> talk, pretty much. You're right. That there is a yeah, Floyd Little. I love Floyd that. Little. Denver Bronco, great Hall of Famer there. So Autograph okay. Beckett authenticated. Awesome. That's on that 1970 Topps football game card. Beautiful. That's a cool card. Humble. Then we got Marty Schottenheimer, the coach who could never beat John Elway. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. He him. could he never win away. the big one, old Marty Schottenheimer. He get these games when he was in town. <laughs> yeah. All stands and just chant, Marty. Marty. <laughs> John Elway owns his <laughs> autograph on That's his kind of business card. He does. <laughs> poor Marty Schottenheimer is the only coach in history who went 14-2, and two, lost, and got fired. Because <laughs> he couldn't beat John freaking Elway. Yeah. No, I think this is. I think that's a time he lost in the, uh, the AFC Championship game. Yeah, you might, right. right. you might be right. You yeah. might be right. And the next year, like two weeks later, like you're gone. Like what? <laughs> Get out of here! Sense. He's yeah, like, freaking loser. All right, next up we got <laughs> Shoei Otani, who's not that's a loser. You lunch by yourself. You fucking loser. Shoei Otani, Shoei Otani, uh, my face of baseball on the MLB. Great worldwide status. Come from Japan. He's a great ball player both ways. The face Frick, of Major League Baseball, I no matter so. what anyone says. Yeah, absolutely. As doing breaking records and doing things that Babe Ruth didn't even do. So if you're up there with Babe Ruth in any kind of category, no, you're good. Whether it's slamming home runs, beers, hot dogs, bronze, you're a badass. Hey, he's got a nice autograph. Rise of the week, you, you bring the wrong name. I didn't. It's on eBay, but I'll go get it because that's oh, a sweet card. Yeah, I got some stuff to talk about while you grab it. Chris, you want to do these three comics, and I'll be right back. Yeah, Chris, what, what, what do we got here? We got us a second print. First this week. TMNT Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Second print. Signed. Nice. Signed, CGC 9.0. Signed by, is it signed by both of them? He's signed by Eastman spin with the turtle on there. That's sweet with that little that is Yeah, he always nice. does that remark, but yeah. it's an awesome book. This is up on the eBay store. Beautiful really cool, piece. super rare, super rare. Other cool thing that came in this week. 
was an amazing Spider-Man 300. 9.4 signed by Todd McFarlane, McFarlane himself. Ooh, beautiful piece. That is the original 300, not one of the reprints. There's a lot of different printings on that book. Beautiful, beautiful That's piece. a great grade on that book. 9.4, it's good. On that favorite. red cover. He is my favorite. Oh, and then we got that 80 Ghost Rider 1. Yep, GGC graded. First Ghost Rider number of one. Damian Hellstrom. That's a good book. Beautiful. I always want to call it Hellstorm by Hellstrom. All right. Before James gets to this hot piece, I got a few buys to show y'all. Lots of nice magic pieces came in this week, so I chose just a couple to show everybody. We love our old school dual lands. Got an underground sea, a little wrecked. You guys can see that back corner there is a little ripped up. It is on eBay. That's going to be a good price, though. If you're looking for a playable one, that would be one to look for. Nice plateau, little played, but still pretty good up there on eBay. But then the gem of it, Tropical Island. This thing is light play to near mint. It's just super nice and crispy. Great condition. All of these are from the revised set. Awesome. All on eBay right now. If you guys are looking for those Magic Dual Lands, we've got them. Nice, nice. We're always buying vintage Magic, new Magic Standard, modern to vintage. We're always looking for Magic the Gathering. All TCG cards, actually. Two locations, all these collectibles, 1250 South Abilene. And then we're also there in brand new in Centennial, Colorado. What's that address? 2510 East Arapahoe Road. Bam. All right. What else did we get? You got your first real official big buy. I did. I your did first big boy my... buy when I was gone by yes, yourself. I did. And I can't actually speak to it because that's your job. All right. Well, why not? You can just read the label. It's a PSA okay, card. Okay, so this <laughs> is it tells okay, you what it is. It's a PSA graded card. So if you get that uh, Red's Wicked Ale off your neck, you might be able to. Yeah, let's it. see this one. Right. Yes, my love. Okay, so this is a PSA 1954 Bowman Willie Mays card. Six mint condition. Number 89. I, I bought this bad boy. Uh, it, I'm going to put it up there. Um, from a nice fellow that came in, he also sold me another card that wasn't quite as nice, but I didn't know that. So <laughs> this one, I like to think I did a good job there on. We We've go. put this on eBay, so yeah. if anyone's interested, go and bid on it. But apparently I did write on that one That rook? Uh, for James and uh, Gare Bear Farnsworth. Is that Gare Bear. Is that a rook? No, uh, no, it's 54, three, 51, 51 Bowman's his rookie. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yeah. 53. <clears throat> Third year. So yeah, still a really good card. Really good guy. Sell for a thousand bucks. Oh yeah, easy. Right around nine hundred to a thousand. Easy. Cool yes, card. One of them sold for thirteen hundred on eBay. It um, was dead centered though. So when you're looking at vintage cards, on especially even if the same grade, they can vary in price to how centered they are. So a centered six sells for a lot more than an off centered six, right? Yes, and I did find this out. Yes, I did get schooled on that. And my husband here, as well as Ryan Haggerty uh, and know. Chris Peckham, are all teaching me a lot as far as how to do buys and. What you better card... you, you better get it from Chris because he's losing a lot of it. So it's <laughs> I get it it's going it's somewhere. <laughs> so catch it. It's like just falling yes, out. <laughs> but I will say that my husband is the master at this, and he's teaching me a lot. So thank you, baby. I appreciate nice. that you are helping me turn into a well, big girl every day. That's what we do. That's what we so, do around here. Dom, just saying, we were actually talking right before this show that we're probably going to go back to a two camera model, one for the close ups, just so we don't have that blur issue. We well, yeah, we'll yeah, show the items. That, guys. No doubt. No doubt. Where are you, Dom? We need your help out here at the All Seas Collectors Edition podcast. You know, I'm just. You I'm let me know get, when you're ready. I'm gonna Can't give Dom here. a shout out. If you guys are looking to get your books pressed, yes. he is the man. Another Hit him up of his while you're on Beyond the Long Box. That's the place to go. As soon as we can, I want to get Dom as a guest on this. As soon as we can on this podcast, so we get you know talk about cleaning and pressing comic books. It's an art form. It's a brand new, well, not brand new, but it's a high trend, especially the last five years. It's rampant in the comic book industry. So get a guy who knows what he's doing to press your books, and that's Dominic, the press master. All right, on to press news. Master. Yeah, yeah, nope. entertainment news. Sorry, the press master. Yeah, I'm still thinking about the, the beauty of his pressing. It's good, amazing. All right, let's go on entertainment news. That's Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Amazing movie. I loved it. Loved it. You a lot of haters on night? it. I don't know why there's... I mean, shit, it was a hell of a lot better than a Zack Snyder four-hour-long Justice League movie that... Hey, Justice that League fell was pretty good. In. Don't dog that. That, that was, was pretty, really long. Hey, it was long, but it was I'm good. just saying, there was no bullshit. There was no four minutes of slow motion walking to hit, set a coffee down. In The flashing in a hot dog in slow-mo. What was your guys's... What was your favorite <laughs> scene on that one? 
Oh, I would have to say when they killed the refugee people that were uh, there to, to hire help them. them. Yeah, to help them. They went oh, in and had that yeah. death murder contest against each other. Oh, oh yeah. He oh, yeah. shot oh. the shelf to hit the fan into the what? to the bathtub and chopped his wiener and electrocuted him. What happened, that was a what happened to my people? Uh... Uh, that was awesome. It was like easy, like butter. Too, like oh, hot spoiler butter. alerts, everybody. We are going to oh, get. Oh, yeah, sorry. Spoiler alert. Hey, it was a great in movie. In their offense, they were told he was captured. And he needed yes. to be rescued, not that he was <laughs> saved yeah. by the resistance. Yeah, that was awesome. Mm-hmm. My it was a, I, I'm going to say real quick, sorry, and I'm done. Okay. James Gunn, way better than any of your goddamn Guardian of the Galaxy movies. Yep. This oh, movie blew yeah. away Guardian of the Galaxy oh. 1 or 2. Those Pleasantly can't be. Most yeah. I'm glad it's a comic book movie. superhero movie I've seen since Watchmen, and I loved it for that. Yeah, yeah. super, like, I, I, the way I described it is um, they were juicy gore scenes. Juicy because there was so yep. much blood and guts and everything. And yes. my favorite scene was when they went up in the eyeball. And Harley was like watching all the rats swinging around in the eyeball juice. Yep. That and well, awesome. oh, they did my boy Starro <laughs> wrong, man. Star, I, I both like Starro, but they also like, like Suicide Squad would have never taken him out. No. And they didn't do a very good job explaining like that the javelin actually was part of the reason this all works. Is javelins javelin? I believe it's supposed to be one of the gods' javelins. The one of those, yeah, the Greek gods, right? Zeus's yeah. Or something. Well, Harley did say she was waiting for God to tell her what to do. Yeah. yeah. So like. It made me sad, though, that at the end, he said, you know, he was just happy with watching everything. No, he was happy floating happy. in space. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. fucking humans, right. earthlings. That humans had to fucking take him. scum we are. We grabbed him. And threw, <laughs> you see sad. his little body all strapped up in the shuttle. We feel bad. So, I know. It's super sad. That's what they did to my turkeys in my neighborhood, too. They put on the light rail, and then they just get rid of all the neighbors. Progress. So it's my thought progress. with it is, and I've talked to most of you guys. I also yeah. sometimes felt like there was two directors. Like James Gunn, you could see when he's in charge, but felt like at least that one heart uh, maybe the two harlequin scenes like the one where she's with the like president and then when she's breaking out those like yeah. both of them felt like they were meant in the harlequin movie like they almost switched the entire style of the movie and went with like what the harlequin birds of prey movie felt like yeah in and those you know moments. what that was not a very good movie so yeah they didn't do that it was chippy though it was chippy though in her visions i mean that's how harley sees in that trippy homicidic the trippy thing worked it just I don't think you need to have as much Harley in it. I think I was loving everybody. Oh, else. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, more King Shark. You know what I mean? So King Shark Shark was great. He was cute when he was jumping in front of the jellyfish. And then, <laughs> oh, and then they all start. And then they start biting him. Like, oh, I felt really bad for him. Yeah, it was a very guys. emotional movie. I was very <laughs> attached to the character. Yeah, he's getting numbs. Did you see it, Eddie? I did. What did you thought, think of it? I thought this is the best John Cena I've seen him yeah. play in the character. I, I called him, by the way, on that. It was cool because he's got to play that arrogant asshole uh, wrestler that he is. It's him very well. Yes. When like all the other movies I've seen him in, he's done awful. Like Yeah, don't be like the boyfriend. This role fit him well, and he played it very well. What was your favorite scene? Uh, same one. Dominic points out King Shark was Stallone. They really killed everybody. all the people, and then they realized that they were the people that <laughs> were supposed to be getting <laughs> saved. Oh, that was yeah. So yeah, that was great. That was they great. even did good with Polka Dot Man. I got to say, like, I was shocked that Polka Dot Man ended up being a good story. Back what was your favorite part? My favorite part? The weasel. <laughs> the weasel. Oh, the so I didn't. I missed this because we were talking. Probably they made a bet. So everyone who's look, working for Amanda Waller, killer performance by Amanda Waller. She nailed it. But uh, they made a bet to see who would die first. It was a death poll. Who did they do that? The I missed it in the beginning of the movie. But they, that one guy bet on the weasel. Jaws, He's the one who dropped him out of the plane on purpose because he knew the weasel couldn't swim. Did anybody check? Did anybody that check to see if the weasel couldn't swim? Josh said, Reagan mentions that he couldn't actually see Peacemaker throughout the whole movie. Exactly. <laughs> You Great performance. What? Their their bet was so wrong, good you couldn't even see it because the weasel came back at the end and then he just took off. So, so yeah, and for those of you who don't know, the weasel is Sean Gunn, James Gunn's brother. Is oh really? really? Mm-hmm. Funny. All right, AJ. So what was your favorite scene? I think my favorite scene in the movie was in the very beginning when the detachable man detached his arms. And if you notice, he wasn't dead. He was listed as green throughout because they only shot his arms to death and he was in a lot of pain. Well, he was laying there, he was <laughs> laying there in pain because they shot his, his arms, arms to death. death. Well, would you bleed out or not if they're detached? I have questions. Yeah. I don't think you can. I think yeah. you're having a lame superpower. Uh, that yeah. area can well, bleed he, out. The rest of you still intact. The veins, yeah, the veins are separated. They're severed. Yeah, so it's, you're not going to bleed out. The yeah. rest and of I, you still I like that they didn't even do anything. They walked a really like, slap box. <laughs> yeah. That was hilarious. It was uh, a good one, yeah. So I was pleasantly shit. surprised. <laughs> what up, Greg? Yeah. Uh, go see Suicide Squad. That was entertaining. Yeah. HBO Max, it's on. You don't have to go to the theater to see it if you don't want to. You stream it for free on there. We're gonna move to sport. We're gonna move to sports now. Uh, the USA Olympic athletes are listening to this podcast and stepping up their game, getting more gold medals and medal. I was calling them out for in two the weeks. Top of both account. Now we're in top number they- one. Where we it's kind of be. surprising because, like yesterday, they were still like six or seven behind China as far as gold medals go. They were ahead 
total, but as far as gold medals went, they were behind. Now well, you more. Up today, now you we were USA. They won. They won. USA. Hey, basketball. Hey, basketball actually came Men, through too. Yeah. Men's and women's. KD. Well. That's the yeah. thing I KD. Think about really. Even without Simone Biles, we ended up winning in uh, gymnastics, and one of Simone's students was the one that won. That was oh, amazing. Awesome. Yep. Good, great effort by gymnastics her. How, gymnastics. What a – it's a solo sport, very much like so golf. So much talent. Or yeah, anything like that. Way more talent than golf. Sorry. No, I'm just saying – No, no, I'm just saying the stress of it it's a single sport yeah. you're out there on your own it's all in your mind outside yeah. of wrestling mm -hmm. you're buying mano a mano you yeah. know it, it's good it's great way to be Woman a mano. Well, yeah whatever. love it <laughs> good stuff good sorry stuff. robert in there now, sorry. we gotta talk about this dream team though yes oh my god lebron and all these people what oh we, the lakers yeah the lakers? lakers acquiring russell westbrook carmelo anthony and somebody else? Oh God, I can't remember who. Not the other Dwayne one Wade. Was. That was fake news. We I didn't know. Really wasn't Wade. He's asking who. Sorry, that when you go over hide, I can't see it. Um, That's Katie the same question. Asked, Wait, so who won? We're yeah. going to do Katie. Hold on. Anybody watching us live? We're going to do the winner at the end of the show here. Coming up here soon, right at the end of the Eddie Rhodes E three art interview that we're going to yeah, jump. We got two big giveaways to announce oh, first. Nobody about wants that. to hear about them Lakers crazy. and LeBron, so we'll just round into yeah. it, right? Donald David, we know it's your dream team, sir. <laughs> your dream team. We're out. We won't even discuss that shit. Eddie Rhodes, <laughs> on that note, how are you, buddy? I'm good. Thanks for having me back. We're compiling yeah, a dream team of artists for the sketch cards are. that are going to be inserted. We absolutely are. heading up with you and yourself, yes. my friend. Give everybody. I've been rambling about this series too. Top fifty card set. Yeah, Let so, people know the facts. So we, I, it was a couple years ago. I came to James. I had an idea to make a football set, and we did that. And you know, it was cool. And we decided, hey, cool. have, you know, because unfortunately, when you do football, you can't have the logos, you can't have the names, and and it's really kind of catered to a specific collector group, right? Yeah. So we wanted to open that up to all collectors, right? We got sports, coins, toys, comics everything's in this set and and then we even took it a step further and we wanted to include other artists right so um we have a lot of very talented local artists that we did a, a art contest with we and some oh, and national you got national guys in there too with, and then we jeffrey peterson I reached out to some national artists um as well Kid i got Graham. some uh top certified licensed artists including a local favorite jason montoya we got i think i reached out to six different garbage bell kid artists that all said that they're up, up to do it. We'll see. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force them. It's up to them. But that'd well, be great to have them included. And we do though have Eddie Rhodes, uh, Jason Montoya, Jeffrey Peterson, um, licensed you know guys with comic books. You know, and great artists. So check it out. And with that, we did this awesome contest. Right? Yeah. So we uh, we ordered a bunch of comic or sketch card blanks, and we asked. We've been promoting an art contest for a while now. Yeah, about six months. August 1st was the deadline. Um, and we posted those online and we asked for everybody to vote. And we have a winner, right? So Yes. Um, All right. Boom. So can, can you hand me that card? And I'd like the runner-up card as well. I don't know what the runner-up uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, Yeah, these. it's one of these guys here. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, no, it's not actually. The Care Bear. I'm the looking Care for Bear. Earthworm. Oh, oh Earthworm. Earthworm Jim. So our winner... So... He, the, the winning artist had actually both the top two, and then we're going to talk about our runner-up. So the winner was Chris Brandt. Am I Chris that right? Brandt. Yeah. Yes. Chris Brandt. Chris Packham went to high school now, with Mr. Brandt. Over in the high school proud, right? Yes, sir. Chris Brandt. Even elementary school with that guy. Jason card. 53 votes compared to our next highest was his also card, his Care Bear card, at 52 votes. That's my guy, Grumpy Bear. But – Finally, <laughs> the yeah. not Chris Brandt runner up after that was Earthworm Jim. Oh, that is amazing. Such a that? that was Cody Schultz. That oh, Cody. Wow. Yeah, Cody did that, right? Cody. So, Cody, did Schultz. Schultz. Cody Schultz, congratulations amazing. on the runner up. But the big winner is Chris Brandt. You won the $100 gift card. Stop on by All Seas. Yeah. Go chat with your old high school buddy here, Chris yeah. uh, Packham, and he will get you hooked up. Again, Overland Proud. Or, that's Cherry Creek Schools, huh? Cherry Creek. You guys are smart. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited. Chris was really smart on how he promoted his stuff. He was sharing it like crazy. It, you know, a lot of these artists that were in here, you had some very good artwork. No, oh, man. And I think you had a very legitimate shot at winning this, but. I was it's all about sometimes the marketing and the promotion of yep. yourself as well. So I was surprised a lot of artists didn't actually share the post at all. And like your your best voters are going to be your own friends, family, yeah. friends, family, and friends. Chris family. not only shared it, he shared individual cards. So that's one of those things like 
Sometimes you maybe don't even want to share the whole post. Just share your card if you want them votes. <laughs> Be Fair enough. Mighty Mouse, you guys. I, Mighty Mouse yeah. was my you vote. Know, and the, we are in the day and age where you can use all these different yeah. tools, dude, like we are right I'm now. For We're Mouse. just promoting a store, you know, a retail store with doing this podcast. Social yeah. media, and, though. Really and getting is... people collecting stuff. Like, you know, you got I'm going to show this Mighty Mouse YouTube, off. That was my Instagram. favorite right there. Boom. Mighty Mouse with Thor's Hammer. Chris Brand, uh, Eddie was asking me what Chris does because, I mean, he's a very talented artist. He's in securities. I mean, he's a security guy. Yeah, he needs to uh, pursue his art. Career. He's gone back. You said he's gone back. Like no, no, the, like the, the field of security. Yeah, he's gone back for like graphic arts or whatever. Security. Doing I that, have yeah. to say, yeah. So Chris, you go. Do your amazing art. Cody Scholl's amazing yeah. art. All you guys, amazing art. Yontuins came through with some amazing yeah. art. I gotta so say, check it out. We're gonna post more pictures of all that. And I gotta say, I I love the Care Bear, but Earthworm Jim is the. The ultimate. Nice. I voted for yeah. that. Nice. Yeah. Thank you for everybody who voted for this contest as well. That was a fun Love it, everybody. So I did bring some of the stuff that's going to be in the set. So like the football set, if you bought a box, you were guaranteed two hits. Yeah, we're going to guarantee you a set and two hits. You were guaranteed a set and you were guaranteed two hits. So one of the hits was to, uh, an original sketch card that went into making the set. So this new set is going to be the same way. But I've definitely stepped up my game on what those are because it's not just sketch cards this time around. We're no, it's actually... well, we had a bigger medium to work with this time. So we're Correct. going all all collectible. So everything pretty much encompassing all C's. So, you know, toys, action figures, comic books, yeah. coins, sports cards, gaming cards, non sports cards, a lot of different shit to cover, right? So it opened the son of a gun. Dude. They are. That works, dude. <laughs> I think that's really your best hard, work. Yeah. I really yeah. think that's your best work okay, today, dude. Yeah. But um, let's go ahead and just gonna talk. Legit. Go ahead and continue. Sorry. So yeah, I did uh, this time around for this set. I've actually done some uh, comic sketches. Some so those are blank covers. Blanks. They're actually comic books with blank that come with blank covers. If you're not familiar, DC or Marvel, make a a cover of Action Comics like that top one, and just give it a blank and give an artist a canvas to reproduce, make that a new cover or redo. Yep. A classic cover like Eddie did because we're doing the top 50 collectibles, so we yeah. want to make it relevant to that set. Right? Yeah, and some just, of them I put my little touch we'll in there, like do not eat bats on the Batman. And that's Detective 27. The There's the Action Comics the number Batman. one. Look at that. Joel Schuster will be proud. <laughs> look at that. Cover. Show that off there, yeah, Chris. That's a cool cover. Don't just stand there and look pretty. Put that on the camera for me. <laughs> There's the Spider Man. <laughs> Eddie, closer to the mic, Ken, Ken's ridiculing your low volume. He, Eddie keeps it sexy with that I, voice, how man. How you, you want me to get He wants that in your mouth, Eddie, that mic in your mouth. I don't want to know what Ken's wants me to <laughs> yeah. do. He wants to, arr, <laughs> pretty dang close. I love this. It's, <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> <your> <laughs> it's close enough. It's crazy. It's just so much. Thank you. Yeah. That, that one, I left that one black and white on purpose. Yeah. Um, because the comic's black and white. Tony Moore cover for Walking Dead number one. I love that. Dude, that looks almost identical to it. I know. Yeah. I, that's really cool. I almost wanted to talk him into putting all C's on that banner. Like we got that variant. Yeah, Here's, hey, I could do it. Yeah, that'd be dope. Here's this. The, there's the one I'm working on now. This is one of my favorite covers of all time. One, one of my happy places in my mind is the oh, yeah. cover of Star Wars number one. Number one. That brings me just total joy seeing that, watching that movie. A New Hope number one. Marvel's ad adaptation of that movie was awesome. It's frame for frame to the movie, so you can't go wrong with Flash. it. Flash. First Silver Age appearance of the Flash. First Silver Age comic of all time. A showcase. What number showcase is that, Chris? Four. Yeah, that's right. Boom. There's Check good, that knowledge. Test me. Number wait, wait to test me. There. What number detective is this, Chris? <laughs> 27. Oh, well, that's a tough one. First Batman appearance. Look at that. Looks just like Bob Kane do that in 1948. You can. There's my favorite, my favorite collectible. <laughs> garbage pill kids, right? Yes. So you do love the garbage pill kids. I do love the garbage pill kids. Super amazing. I do too. That was and my first card I love. So far, this is the me big too. hitter. The only card I ever loved. So last time we had the Peyton Manning painting. That oh, was yeah. This is like amazing. The one on one, the one everyone was chasing. Um, I've already put a three hundred dollar bounty on this. <laughs> this is the seriously the big hitter this <clears> time. <throat> I is literally have a three hundred dollar bounty on this. Not all C's. James Farnsworth yeah. has a $300 oh, okay. bounty on this for anybody who pulls it. It's pretty sweet. We made a sick trade. I got an original Cortland Sutton. I'm going to have Chris go grab it here in a second. I, did. In the box. I got an original it's, Eddie Rhodes Cortland Sutton Correct. hanging wow. in the store right now. Yeah. I did a pretty sweet trade with The detail on this picture is amazing. So what's your look? That's a, an that acrylic painting on a 8 by yeah. 10 canvas. So the way it works and the way you can get this is you buy a box and if you just happen to get the pack 
with that redemption card in it. No, you turn the redemption card in to all C's and you will get this. So sweet. that's how that works. Yeah. It's Boom. pretty neat. It's a sweet program. It's, uh, and if you don't want if for some reason badass. you don't want that picture, I'll give you 300 bucks for it. So there's that. You know what I mean? There you go. There, see. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Post what you get on the, the Beyond the Long Box, because if it's a collectible that you're not interested, I'm sure there's somebody else in the Beyond the Long Box that does. And Always that's where we promote trading and, and you know you can work out a deal, maybe. So right, absolutely. Ken's got a comment for you. He says you got a pretty mouth, Eddie. Thank you, Ken. Yeah, that's there you disgusting. go. <laughs> Zavon, he'll he'll save that flash for you, but uh I don't know. We've been saving things for you. I would like to see some money. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that was Well, Kirk Bishop says that's an awesome uh, action comics number one. Dominic says those are legit. And those are giveaways in the box. So you buy a box. If you get, a, it, there'll be a redemption card in the box, randomly inserted. Every single box that you purchase has a chance at one of these 101 original art pieces. Yeah, so we'll go through them real quick. I want to hit up these real fast. So sure. we'll just go yeah, through this quick. Hit them up. Uh, this first is the one of the best coins. If you're a coin collector, you should know what this penny is. And this is dead on, dude. I showed it to my dad. Yeah, he thought it was say. a photograph. And Gary's a numismatist. So am I certified. The detail on that, the high relief's amazing. That's a 1909 SVDB penny. That was a son of a gun to draw. That's that amazing. Say, that <laughs> Those coins so Eddie, that is so are so good. Yeah. That is so sick. Then Man. we got a Morgan Dollar. Was that 89 CC? 1889. Yep. 1889 CC. Love that bad boy. I wish I owned one of those. Wish I owned all this shit. So that's what's cool about this set yeah. to me. Hey, this is all and, uh, stuff we wish we could own. You right? know what we do own here and is in the gaming arena. You could buy a Charizard. That first edition right Shadowless. <laughs> we got the unlimited, but yep, we got it here. This Ooh. is the final Cape Jawa is what we're representing in this hot, sketch card right piece. there. Hard to find toy. Yep. yep. Chris the toys are hard to draw too. And thank you to everybody. Nice. Yeah, Thank you, Chris Grant, for the great Chris. work, man. Yep. He Congratulations. Made a comment. All right. We have one of these on eBay right now, as a matter of fact. It's a oh, super yes. rare piece. The brown hair Wonder Bread He-Man. Wonder he Bread He-Man. There's a lot of weird... I've researched the heck out of this. And yes. It's, it's like there's not really a 100% a story of this. That story. one I had, though. So the original one yeah. I had like, about three, four years ago that I sold had his complete weapons, the three, the two and the shield. So I like that they put him in the animated He-Man. Yeah. And that yeah. was kind of cool. That I have dope. been able to find pictures of the original Wonder Red advertisement for it as well. Have That's you? sick. Yep. So there are pictures Oh, my of mom, I had that when I was a kid because Wonder Bread nice. was in Colorado. It was Dimmer was a manufacturer yeah. of Wonder yep. Bread. So yep. my mom would mail in for all that shit. Like, Boom, <laughs> yeah. got that. Uh, here's one of my favorite pieces, one of my favorite items. If I had a lot of money get one day, I was probably might be the first thing I'd get. I think it's the most underpriced collectible there is right now. That's that 1909 T206 Honus Swagner. You see a lot of stuff that's really skyrocketed right now. That card has not. It's fell behind, just like those two coins we showed. This here's Independent Wrestling. Is it AWA? Uh, AWA or some of the other ones. Who minor, league, minor League Small Circuit Hulk Hogan uh, rookie card. First known mm -hmm. heart. Card of Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Again, every Back when he's single box the Hulk you purchase is guaranteed one of these that you're seeing now. There will be 50 total. How about a 1948? So only 50 boxes. How about a 1948 Ooh. Leaf Jackie Robinson? Hot piece. Broke that color barrier in baseball. That's his rookie card. 1948 Leaf. Looks just like it. This How about one of my hot. favorite football cards of all time? 1965 Tops Tall Boy Joe Namath rookie card. Looks just spot on again. Eddie's slaying it. And if you don't know this card, you don't yeah, know cards. That's my holy grail. Right this is yours. Oh, See, I'd rather have the Honus. I and this is just a personal thing. I can't. I don't. I love this card, but the height that it's gained over the Honus Wagner, yeah. just the name and the notoriety of it. It's true. It, right. It but I grew match. up. At, you know, Honus Wagner was important because of the card. Right. But these next two that you're going to show, these were like gods to me. I was a baseball player and. I, I strived to be these next one of the Yankees lore, the Yankees so. freaking lore. Although he's a Red Sox in this card. Yeah, I know. Oh, first one, one. If That's you don't right. know what it is, Maybe you better know. Bambino himself. This here is Mickey Mantle, 1952 oh, tops. Mickey Mantle. Come on, look at it. You guys are talking about Red Sox. <laughs> well, I know we were having fooling you. Talking damn. <laughs> Which was on display during the outside game. Hey, you got Chris there too. I'm just saying. <laughs> Mickey Mantle, 1952 tops. Hey, at least he got the Charizard. What is he gonna say? If I messed that one, I'm fired. Yeah. Is this next? The Black one Lotus is coming. You're still working on that Black Lotus, too. Yeah, right? yeah I'm doing the Black, Black Lotus. Black Lotus is coming. Now, the one we were expecting. Hey, Ruth, that's Maybe a 1918 
1918 Cracker Jack, right? Is that what that card is? I don't oh, remember. I believe so. that's There's what that card is. That one's actually like, graphite. Yeah, that's a tough, because tough card. Those cards wow. are. It, it, there's no real good images of those. Like even the cards were bad images. So the Honus Wa draw the Honus Wagner set itself in 1909 was produced more, but his card wasn't because his dad died yeah. of lung cancer. So he sued him for making him in the cigarette set. So you see a lot more ah. in general. You see That's a lot right. more 1909 uh, T206s. But the uh, the Babe Ruth is just super rare. You don't see him at all. But yeah, so. the, that's all the the cards that are actually done by me. But we have, I mean, just an awesome amount of other artist cards that are going to be inserted into the packs as well. And these won't even be counted as hits. Just uh, get, let AJ throw those on the cameras. If you're listening to this podcast, just bear with us real quick. We're going to go do a quick scan of more of the sketch cards. That's He-Man's Iron Armored Horse. That's uh, what's his name? Grimlock. He That's man. Battle Armor He Man. That's Soundwave, I believe. Yeah. Ghostbuster. Ghostbuster. What do you want? Ghostbusters. Those what are a want? couple I did extra that just because I had some time. Some you might see more of those, right? Freddy yeah. Krueger. Alien. You know, Kurt Bishop's going to be looking for that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because that's that's my Leather favorite face. collectible. I collect, I collect Garbage Pail Kids and I collect horror. Well, so, <laughs> who are these last two here? I see Jason. Who's Pennywise. The, oh, Pennywise. Yep, I see the balloon. I That's like dope. It. Right on. Right All on. Right. Right. That it, man? What else you got? Beep, beep, yeah, beep, that's beep. just keep an eye out for that. I mean, I'm a huge art collector. You already have an eye out. I yes. collect <laughs> sketch cards. I collect original artwork from a lot of my favorite artists. Uh, I actually have a Skeletor painting on its way. I just finally paid off. Uh, I collect, of course, you know, I got my, I brought these. I got a John Pound and a Tom Bunk sketch card, original awesome. sketch card from the original Garbage Bell artist. Sick. Um, so, you know, that's that's what really strives and pushes me to do this stuff because I have a passion for it myself. So I hope, you know, I put a lot of really my passion into this. So I think in the modern world, too, people forget that trading cards came up from pen and ink. There, yeah, that's like I said, right. People collect oh, artwork. Not, not all of us can artwork. afford expensive stuff. So, you know what I mean? I'm a big yeah. fan of Mallory Hart and Phil Spaulding's artwork. So I've got a bunch of them. I hear you on that. With that, let's give away this Miles Morales. I got to go fix my contact. Okay. So I'm going to let the beard and AJ take over real quick. So we got the Miles Morales Ultimate Fallout 9.8. I think I'm in. Get this. yourselves tuned in. Yeah, Eddie, you have a yeah, chance to win. You are. You are. You are. I've got everything on random.org right now. I'm going to randomize it. I will turn over and show the computer to the screen here as after. You guys can all see oh, whoever nice. name number one is. That's what we're going with. I bring a couple of randomizations to make sure it's all going. Oh man, everybody. Oh. oh. Ron Root. Ron Root. You lucky dog. That is it. Oh, oh it cut for a second there, but again, if you guys can see, boom. Ron Root, you are the winner of wow. the ultimate Fallout 9.8 Spider Man. Congrats, Ron. That's good. Ron, you Great, lucky oh, beautiful. dog. Beyond Root, that is, I'm so excited. All right. Thank you all members of Beyond the Long Box. Yes. Thank you all for joining. It's been so great building the Beyond the Long Box up. Oh. We have over a thousand members now. 991 names went into this because we cut all the All Seas employees out. None of their pages, none of that got a chance. Ron Root, you are the big winner, man. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's awesome, yeah. guys. I think we are going to wrap on up here. We're going to oh. Wheeler. We got Wheeler. Uh, Dom, I was gonna I'm cut sorry. Wheeler. I can't cut Wheeler. Don't cut Wheeler, Ooh, Wheeler gonna cut me. Dom, I'm sorry. I don't have any of those uh, posters made. Sorry, so Wheeler. Don't come cut me, man. My husband will kill me. <laughs> All right. Uh, I gotta say, Ron is a killer artist. Dom said this too. I have one of my favorite commissions yes. I've ever done is a swamp thing that I had Ron Root. Do. You did one of the All Seas logos. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. The logo Halloween logo. You guys will see it coming awesome. spooky season. So, yep. Two, was like, who two people this, that uh, are artists out there watching. Ron know people that are artists. We, if you still want to get your artwork in the set, it, yeah, you can't participate in the contest, of course, because it's Rock been root. done. But you can still get some artwork submitted. And Absolutely, we have cards, set. so just oh, come in and ask us. Hey, and come yeah, by absolutely. next week. Both stores are going to have amazing artists there. A lot of great artists too. Thanks for everybody who joined. Katie Webb did one of my favorite ones. There's a lot of great artwork in there. So Katie check them out. Comic book book she does. She did amazing work. She has a sketch card in there. But yes, so. we we have to call Wheeler. Wheeler We're has that sports Wheeler now. Let's wrap this and see. Well, we got for sports. Tom, you're right. He is. And I'm Wheeler, I Wheeler brought to you by Elite Sportsbook, representing the Red Deli Casino and Blackhawk. We get them sports picks in here by Wheeler and see who you should put your money on. Wheeler. How are you doing, AJ? 
Wheeler man, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna back out now. I see you, dude. You're real good. Hi. Free comic day, free comic day. Is that all right, AJ? Well, AJ's going to be at the old store, but. Totally sweet. I've got some WWE news. Thursday, August 5th, it's a sad day. What happened? Bobby Eaton, half of the Midnight Express, died at 6 38 a.m. He was a kind of good dude, man, and it's sad how these wrestlers are dying stuff. But also, I had. Do you guys remember back in the early 80s, Fantasy Island? They turned it into a stupid movie. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Tattoo. Okay. Well, it's coming back to TV this Tuesday evening on Fox 31, Fantasy Island. It's going to be pretty cool. I mean, maybe it could be cool. You know. Well, I'll give it a whirl. We'll see. You know, I'm really into Holy Moly right now. So I know my TV time's kind of tough. Holy Moly is great. Oh, oh Holy it? Moly. That sounds rad. What is that? It's rad, dude. It's a mini golf game where, like, it's competitive. And you get knocked off. You got to run through an obstacle course. You'll like it, bro. Check it out, Wheeler. It's okay, on Channel Seven. Okay. Channel so, Seven on Thursdays. So elite. You guys got elite sports out, you know, uh, from the Red Dolly. So far, I'm three for four on my picks. And uh, before I go into uh, what picks I've got coming up, I just wanted to say, you know, yeah, the other Wheeler AJ is kind of fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to be there. He won't come out of me. I promise. It really sucks having multiple personalities. I tell you, dude, it's so weird when I'm in a meeting and I'm trying to do business and then all of a sudden I change. It's really weird. I am sorry, but AJ, you're totally sweet. So now I've got some picks. From Elite Sports Book, all these collectibles. I've got, you know, so I was right on the Hall of Fame game. Right at the time last week when we were talking, I says the under, over under was 33. It dropped to 31 and a half, then went back to 32. I took it at 32 and posted on the long box my $200 bet. I won uh, 200 bucks. Okay. So what I got tonight is a simple baseball game. Chicago White Sox are at Chicago Cubs. Take the White Sox. They're favored and will win. Hey, I'm out of here. See you. Well, actually, the other guy, Wheeler, will see you at uh, All Seas Collectibles. I've got prizes from Angelo CDs, a bunch of rare vinyl records and gift cards. You guys have a nice day. And, hey, sorry, AJ. You're a sweet guy. See you Saturday. Right on. Thank you, Wheeler, Bye, very guys. much. Wheeler. That reminds me, we got free comic book day, our biggest sale of the year. Next Saturday, both locations, open day. We got great, amazing artists. Eddie's going to be at that I'll new location, there. right? Serena Vincent will be there. Serena Vincent. Power Ranger 2000, Yellow Ranger. Come get her autograph. Amazing. She's be at both stores. Amazing Marvel and DC artist Rodney Ramos going to be in the house coming all the way from Ooh. New York. Hot. Transmetropolitan, great artist, penciler. If you're an inspiring artist, come find out. Talk to Rodney. He's an amazing dude. A great man, so he's a great guy to talk with. Great, he and great cheap commissions, dude. Last time he was here, he was doing full color sketches for like seventy five bucks. So That's I don't know deal. if he still is. Recession and all probably went up, but <laughs> probably have it now. Yeah, see you everybody. Yeah. Thanks for watching us. Have a great night, y'all. Bye, Keep guys. Collecting. Keep collecting.